good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Minneapolis, as Scott said. Really, a, just a fun city, and a city that we really think uh, epitomizes soul. And many of you have uh, been with us on our journey since 2009 when we introduced the soul down in Miami. Uh, we made a, a pit stop along the way in Austin back in 2011, and now we're here in uh, in Minneapolis in 2013. But uh, Speaking of 2013, a very exciting year for us. Seven all new or significantly redesigned vehicles. Quite honestly, I am exhausted um, from a PR and marketing standpoint, but it's been just a phenomenal ride. We've introduced uh, Soul, or sorry, uh, Sorrento early on in the year, uh, followed by Forte, and then uh, the all new Cadenza. Uh, here we are uh, with our fourth vehicle, uh, the new Soul, and then we've got uh, the redesigned Optima, which is showing up in dealerships uh, right about now, and then we'll have the uh, uh, all-new Forte five-door and Forte Coupe uh, later on in October. So a very exciting time for us uh, here at Kia. But um, for those of you who, uh, I know, as I mentioned, a lot of you have been with us on this journey since 2009, uh, but we do have a lot of new faces that haven't been part of the journey. So let me just take you uh, back a little bit before I then take you uh, forward and kind of give you a perspective on where we were in uh, December 2008 uh, when we had about 273,000 uh, annual sales. Uh, about a 1.9% market share. Our top two vehicles at the time were Optima and Spectra for 113,000 vehicles combined. Optima last year sold 152,000 vehicles on its own, so that just shows you how far the brand has come. Uh, but at the time, we as a brand uh, were facing some significant hurdles, as was the, uh, the country in and of itself with the, uh, the fiscal crisis going on. Uh, but basically, we were non-existent in the top 20 markets. Uh, we were being outspent by the competition. Uh, our, we were, our awareness and opinion and consideration were, were really lagging the competition. One, because we were being outspent, but two, we had uh, a big um, awareness issue. Uh, often confused with the uh, Swedish uh, purveyor of fine furniture, IKEA. Uh, we're definitely uh, overcoming that though now. And we had limited appeal with that all important uh, Gen Y consumer. But we had a big idea, and it was inspired by a boar with a backpack. And that's a true story. Mike Torpy, uh, the lead designer on The Soul, was in Korea watching a nature show. Probably had just landed and couldn't sleep that night watching the show, and saw this television show about boars and started sketching a vehicle, put a backpack on it, and, uh, and that's where we came up with this big idea. And this big idea was The Soul, uh, it really was the right car at uh, the right time. Um, it allowed us to uh, go into a new segment uh, and ultimately uh, transcend multiple segments. It allowed us to uh, attract a new customer, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but what it really did was uh, it allowed us great opportunity to kind of reposition the brand and really start the transformation of our brand. Because the Soul was the first vehicle uh, between 2009 and 2011, where we launched uh, nine all-new products. So, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the Soul was giving us access to new segments and new markets, um, and we really needed to access these new markets, and the Soul allowed us to do that. And the new markets were the more urban markets. <coughs> Traditionally, we had done very well in the rural and kind of uh, outlying suburban markets, but never really did quite well in urban markets, and the Soul uh, really allowed us to do that. In fact, uh, with the Soul and also all of the other new products that we launched over uh, between 2009 and 2011, we finally cracked those top 20 markets. In fact, our sales uh, in the top 20 markets actually uh, outpaced uh, the general market. Uh, we've been up 250% over the last uh, four years, um, but in the top 20 urban markets, we're up 300%. So. Uh, the Soul was definitely the vehicle that helped lead the way into those all-important markets. All right, and, and just uh, as a brand in and of itself, the results, as I mentioned, are staggering, up 250%. Um, but we've also uh, become the eighth largest uh, brand in the U.S. by volume, outselling some pretty significant uh, players in the marketplace. You know, the Chryslers, the Jeeps, the Mazdas, the BMWs. 
uh, brands that uh, normally we wouldn't be uh, lumped in together with, but uh, we outsell all of them. Uh, last year, we were named to Interbrand's top 100 global brands, came in at number 87. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, the uh, 2013 results were posted yesterday. Uh, we are now 83rd in the, uh, the top 100. We, our uh, overall brand uh, ranking went up uh, four points, uh, and that was because the overall brand value went up by 15%. Uh, of the top 100, I think the average was up about 12.4%, so we outpaced uh, the average. So uh, very good there, great results that uh, we hope will continue uh, in the coming year from an interbrand perspective.